Our next guest is a 16-year-old coding protege and research intern at Stanford University who's been coding apps since he was just 13 years old. Now he's looking to guide students in Apple's latest Swift Student Challenge, which invites young people around the world to code their own apps. Joining me now to tell us more is Adrit Rao. Adrit, thanks so much for joining us Thank again. Thank you so much you for having me. Yeah. Yes, I don't know if our viewers remember, but it was about this time last year, about mm -hmm. a year ago, you were actually here on our show yep. to talk about an app that you developed. Mm -hmm. Very, very exciting. Now this Af Apple Swift Student Challenge is all about developing apps. So mm -hmm. let's get into that first, Adrit. Sure. What is this Swift Student Challenge? Tell me about it. Yeah, so the Swift Student Challenge invites students from around the world to build a Swift playground, which is kind of an app that showcases your passion or interest. And uh, Apple chooses 350 kids from around the world to win the challenge. And out of that, 50 kids actually get to go to Apple Park. So it's an amazing experience. Oh my gosh, it sounds like it's going to be an incredible mm -hmm. experience. But the challenge itself, right? You've been participating in this challenge mm -hmm. for a few years. You've mm -hmm. actually become a winner two separate times. Yeah. But for students who have maybe never heard of the challenge, mm -hmm. kind of walk us through what they can expect. Yeah, so during the challenge, you use Apple's programming language, which is called Swift, and you basically build a simple app that showcases your interests or passion. So you can find a problem which you're passionate about or something that you find fun. And basically, you have three weeks to develop a playground, which is kind of a mini app that showcases that passion. And do you have any tips out there for students who are applying or want to apply for the challenge? I would just say that no matter how old you are, you can really make a big difference. And uh, when I started coding, I didn't find like normal programming languages interesting to me, but Swift was really interesting because I could see my code come to life. And that's what I think app development is so amazing. And for you, we already kind of mentioned it, but I'd like to get into the gritty details of you being a winner. You've won two different times for Apple's Swift Student Challenge. Tell me about the apps that you developed that were some of the big winners. <laughs> so the first app I developed was a kind of playground that showcased my interest and my journey into programming. So that app had many different features that kind of walked the user through my journey as a programmer from a young age and also my interests. Uh, the second app I won that won the challenge was called PlayML, which was a playground that kind of walked users through Apple's machine learning technologies and uh, kind of showcased that because I'm so passionate about AI and I wanted wow. to create a playground that could kind of show off my passion. So since you are so passionate about AI, I do have to ask, how much do you like this new kind of technology era that we're in where you're able to utilize AI probably a lot more than you were able to in the past? Yeah, I'm super excited about generative AI. I know there are some downfalls to it and uh, some risks, but I also think it's an amazing tool that can help developers build tools faster. And um, yeah, I'm excited about it. Okay, well, we are excited that you're here, and we mentioned this in your intro, but you're also currently a research intern at Stanford mm -hmm. University. So you're working on some pretty big things with Stanford right now. Tell me all about it, Adrian. Yeah, so when I started working at Stanford, the first app I developed was called Auto ABI, and I was basically introduced to a medical problem related to peripheral artery disease, and it's basically uh, in patients who have clogged arteries in their legs, doctors sometimes are not able to detect if they have a disease, especially if their arteries are super clogged, uh, for example, if they have diabetes. Mm. So I basically developed an app that can listen to sounds from people's arteries and use artificial intelligence to detect if they have diseases. And I was super excited about that app because it was in clinical trials, and now we're actually filing for a patent for it. Oh my gosh, so that's very exciting. So yep. now it's kind of gone through that first clinical mm -hmm. trial process, which mm -hmm. for people who might not know that as a first step, describe that first step to me. Why is that crucial? Yeah, so after I developed it and we found out that it was pretty accurate, it actually got put into to many clinics at Stanford. Uh, I also had the opportunity to go into some clinics and see it be tested. And that's why I think app development is such an amazing skill because it's accessible for people to develop apps. And after you develop an app, you can make it accessible to so many people, even though you're young. Yeah, like you, you're an incredible example for so many people out there who may want to apply for this Apple's Swift Student Challenge, mm -hmm. right? And from your experience, what would you say are the positives of entering this challenge, Adrit? I think overall, it's just such a great learning experience to be able to get into app development. Personally, for me, uh, I won it when I was 12 years old for the first time. And I honestly didn't have 
have much expectations, but it really got yeah. me into the world of app development. And I had the chance to meet Tim Cook when I was 12 uh -huh. during the pandemic, and that motivated me to continue app development. And like I said, even though you're young, apps kind of give me give you the power to make a difference. Well, you have definitely made a difference, and that is proof because, like you said, this next app that you're working on at, with Stanford is in the process of kind of becoming official, right? Yes. Is that what we're waiting on? Next? I'm excited for it. Yes. <laughs> okay. So tell me the deadline if people do want to apply for the Swift Student Challenge. Yeah, so the deadline for the challenge is February 25th, and I would just recommend people to get started as soon as possible. And uh, I know even though you're young, you can still make a really big difference. And yeah, I'm excited. And speaking of making differences, one final question for you, Adrit, before I let you go. Your app has clearly left an impact not only in the medical industry, but the app industry, technology mm -hmm. in general. What does it mean to you personally to be able to see your dreams kind of come to life like this? I think uh, it just goes back to how apps give anyone the ability to make a difference. And I do hear sometimes that people find programming boring, but I think Swift and app development is one aspect that is so exciting. And I think kids can be really excited by it because they can make solutions that reach so many people. Well, thank you so much for the solutions that you are creating for so many people out there today, Adrit. As usual, it was such a pleasure and amazing to see you growing. Thank, thank you, you so for having much. me. Of course.